get your ass down here and get this murder. I'm back with another drunk reaction, and today I'm drinking fireballs I offered them. And we are back, hopefully, for another Black Sales. Took a couple weeks off because like my videos kept getting blocked, so I've been waiting to receive some special filters from a filmmaking friend of mine. Hopefully I can put, because I've noticed some of these shows, uh, reaction shows, will put a filter over the video, and that keeps it from being blocked. Because I've even tried, like, like I do with WandaVision, where I put the logo on there, and it still gets blocked. Now, there's another thing. Um, I'm not going to bore you too much with what I'm going to try in editing. Essentially, the point is that um, in editing, I'm going to try to keep this from getting blocked. If it does get blocked, I will post a link to it to, to uh, Patreon. But I'm not going to keep doing this because there's no point in doing this and then just putting it on Patreon. You know, I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can do the community tab and uh, use the community tab so I can update people, let them know, like, if there's an episode not going to be dropping or what the weekly schedule is, what the marathon schedule is. There's so many things you can do with the community tab that it's just pointless to do a short video for, right? But you, you can't use a community tab unless you have at least 1,000 subscribers. So that's my goal. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, usually, uh, like the analytics say, only like 14% of the people who watch your videos are subscribed. If you enjoy this stuff and you want to be updated regularly, just subscribe. And you can always unsubscribe. I, well, I don't know. Like, if I get to 1,000, if I drop below 1,000 after that, do they take away the community tab? I don't know. Like, that's literally all I care about. I want to have that fucking community tab. So I guess you'd have to bite the bullet and stay subscribed, because I don't know what would happen if you drop below. That's actually an interesting question. They're like, you only give me that fucking community tab back. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, point is, I would love to be able to do that to update you guys. That's the only reason why I give a shit. But, uh, so the point being, sending you to, to Patreon to watch videos doesn't really help me get subscribers. You know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll find out in editing, uh, what happens. Uh, so this will either be the start of season two or be the end of me doing these, these reactions. Although I won't watch the rest of the series just in case I come up with a solution in the future. Or maybe I'll just start doing it like I did with Mr. Robot. I eventually just took Mr. Robot to Patreon. Because the motherfucker's going to block it. It was going to be on Patreon anyway. But anyway, enough of this shit. Let's get into season two. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. The Incredible Hulk was destroyed on the beach. So maybe they can steal all that fucking treasure just from the beach. Although there's a bunch of guards and motherfuckers there. So, and I think there's a support ship as well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. They left a lot of shit dangling last season. So be very interesting to see what happens this season. And I usually do season predictions, but this intro is already pretty long, so let's just get into it. Plus, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. I have no idea. Let's do this. Excuse me. Who the fuck are we? Oh, let's see. So I guess you're just going to submit, huh? You said probably wise. <laughs> I say probably wise just as soon as the motherfucker asks that question. He's a man, Mr. Falk. Monsters. Yeah, we'll see about that. I think they're still going to monster up. We behave right. So you put across the bridge and everybody jumps across anyway. I suppose that's to bring cargo back, but still. Seems pretty stupid. <laughs> what if you slip, right? May I ask, are you hey, one of the pirates in support of Nassau? Why are you asking, motherfucker? So enlightened that all trade is managed by a teenage girl. Is she supposed Tell to be teenage? Are you shitting me? Dude, shut up. Don't be asking no questions. It's in Lord Ash. Like I said, kill them all. <laughs> I was just kidding, man. Of course, they, they set it up pretty hard with the whole these men aren't monsters shit. So. They were pretty. They were pretty much on the nose with this. Yeah, he's like, they're not Another monsters. Prize, they're still calling him Captain. That's kind of sweet. Don't call him that. Oh, okay. You let him call him that like five well, times, though. Because if you do. I'll personally guarantee your sentences are commuted. Well, we know John Summers going to figure this out. That, that motherfucker is a you survivor, man. You make your men yet again. And I'll deserve it. None more so than you. Right, if you hadn't mutinied, I think they would have actually destroyed the ship, the escort. I really do. The plan would have worked. Bring them back. 
the delay was what cost him. Already the nooses. Uh, John Silver ain't gonna stand for this shit. You're a dumbass. Wait. <laughs> What's up? I paused it because something was bugging me, so I actually very gingerly, very carefully looked it up to avoid spoilers. Uh, the guy who plays Dufont, they changed the actor. And that rang a bell in the back of my head. I was like, that guy just does not look the same. He looks similar. It's, it's not a bad job, but he doesn't look the same. And um, is it Dufont or is it Defonis or, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about, the, the new quartermaster. Uh, apparently, maybe the new captain. So, uh, and it rang a bell in my mind is somebody talking about an actor replacement because somebody died or some shit. And so I looked it up, and so the guy who played him in season one didn't play him anymore. They got somebody else to play him in, in the the rest. I apparently know the 13 episodes, which is a spoiler, I guess. That means the character doesn't die, but whatever, you know. They've killed off a lot of the, lot of the crew, so I wouldn't have believed he was going to die anyway because they were killed off Gates. Potentially killed off Billy. I still don't believe Billy's dead, but we'll see about that. Um, and apparently, yeah, the actor did die in 2016. But see, here's what's interesting. He played Dufont in 2014. They had a season in 2015, which what we're watching right now, and then a season in 2016 when he died, right? So it makes me think it was some kind of long-term illness or something. You know, like, I mean, I, I'd hate to believe they fired him because he was incompetent or something or bad on the set, and then he just randomly died two years later. I, that doesn't make sense. Probably he had cancer or something or some kind of long-term illness, so he couldn't come back, and so they replaced him. So it was just bugging me, so uh, I just looked it up. But, yeah, I find that interesting. Too bad about the guy, because the actor was really good. I liked him, you know, in season one. You know, so sorry to hear about he you know, passed away. There's simply no way of stealing that gold. Now I'm going to tell you how I'm going to steal that gold. Steal. Fucking warship. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would volunteer. But I'm in for your part. Oh, I am going to volunteer. Okay, cool. That leaves one man to go. John Silver. One volunteer. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> in exchange for your pardon. We could do whatever we want. How important is that to you now? Fuck you. Fuck you too. Well, damn, why she catch her stray? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, everybody, like I said, everybody's catching strays for no reason. You're serious about taking the shit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck did you think? <laughs> oh, I thought this is how you intended to escape. <laughs> Hilarious. Sure, it'll be a few days of walking or so to St. Augustine, but at least we have a chance. <laughs> you really mean to board that shit? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> See, that's what John Silver's got some. Every plan involves him lying to motherfuckers. <laughs> St. Augustine is that way. Dumbass. Like, every every plan of his involves lying to people, so when somebody tells the truth, he's like... <sighs> and in most cases, a man trying to change the world fails for one simple and unavoidable reason. He doesn't want to be changed. Everyone else. Uh, that too. You know, piracy existed back then and doesn't now. I'm mean, Somalian pirates, I know, whatever. But you know what I'm talking about. Like, big-time piracy. Where you could take on a nation's shipping routes and not be punished for it, right? Because the technology divide between the pirates and the nations was only about like this, right? Now, it's up here, right? You can't do shit. Like, the drones would take your ass out. You know what I'm saying? That's why piracy doesn't really exist anymore. There was that small period of time here where piracy could exist. Which goes to show you, if that ever happens again where it gets like this, piracy will exist again. People didn't change. Technology changed. They didn't change the world by changing people's hearts and minds, you know? You see? <laughs> Holy shit. Hurry up! Shit in the street. Kill you. A moment's peace, my friend. Go shit the street, sure asshole. Damn, there's a long line. Jesus. Jack Rackham. The crew killer. 
<laughs> Don't do my like his ass. <laughs> Old Vance told everybody. It's like Gary Oldman. He told everyone. <laughs>